Good morning, guys. Happy day seven of Vlogmas. I am just gonna have some tea here. Been up for a while, about to like officially start my day. I'm gonna have a cup of Twinnings Christmas tea. You can see here, it's so yummy. It's a black tea has like spices, cinnamon and cloves. I love it, it's so yummy. Gonna have that with some organic honey and a little almond milk. I'm just letting it steep here. Still haven't put up any Christmas decorations yet. I live with Ebenezer Scrooge slash Grinch slash Krampus. Uh, yeah, so I am fighting the good fight on the home front here of trying to get the decorations and stuff up and it's getting really tedious, especially with not feeling well. Does anybody else live with the Grinch? Like, it's, the struggle is so beyond real. It's quite draining and I go through it every year. He puts up this fight, but once all the stuff gets up, he's like so happy with how it all looks. Um, so I don't know, you guys. If you have any tips for ungrudging your spouse or significant other, please let me know. And other than that, gonna start my day. I've got some editing to do and some filming to do later as well as editing. And I still wanna show you guys the books that I got from the library sale over the weekend. Till then, I will see you guys later. Good morning, booktubes. Mama was trying to get work done and I just took over. Video hack. Phone hack. Dr. Z is here. Vlogmas, day number seven. I have taken over the technical, technological. I've taken over the equipment. Hey guys, so out of the house and walking Zay, we made it to the park. I have a little discomfort but I'm gonna try to go a little bit farther than we did. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I can't even remember, oh my goodness. I am currently uploading day six right now. It's processing, so that will be up in a little bit for you guys. And what else? Oh, when I get back, I wanna film the, just a quick haul from the library cell that I went to this weekend and I have a little cooking to do and other than that that's probably all that I will record today because I'm super super behind on reading I can't believe like the first week of December is already gone and I haven't read anything on that note on the walk right now I actually started the audiobook for Cinder so I have fallen into the Lunar Chronicles. Wish me luck, you guys know me in YA, like hit or miss, so. But I've gotten on good authority that it's such a good series, so hopefully it will live up to the hype, we will see. But Zay and I are gonna finish our walk. I'm gonna listen to Cinder some more. And I'll see you guys when I do the library haul. Okay, see you in a little bit, bye. Okay, so are you ready to see all of the awesome books that I got on Saturday at the library sale? This is only the second library sale that I've been to, but this time I had a goal in mind. There are a couple of series that I wanna read next year. If you guys follow me, you know this already. So I went in with a plan, you guys. I had a goal. I wasn't gonna go like crazy willy-nilly. I wanted to get books that would help to complete the series that I plan to read next year. And I had a little bit of success with it. So I am keeping this haul super short and sweet so it doesn't take forever, especially since I'm inserting this in the Vlogmas day number six video. Oh my God, no, it's the, what is today? Day number seven video. <laughs> so at the first library cell that I went to, I was lucky enough to find a paperback of a Feast of Crows, which is, I believe, book number three in 
the Fire and Ice series, Game of Thrones. Still really not sure what the series is called, but I really want to read it. And I was lucky enough to pick up A Clash of Kings. Ta-da! And I also got <gasps> A Storm of Swords. <laughs> so excited. So I've got these two and A Feast of Crows, so I only need books one and five and I am all good. 25 cents, 25 cents each. Come on, really? Gets no better than that. Boom, 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 boom. I have seriously been wanting to get into reading some of Robin Hobb's work and I have not been sure where to start. Although someone on YouTube recommended a video and the girl totally broke down her complete works and where to jump in and what books you can bypass if you don't want to read everything in its entirety or if you do, where to start. And of course, Saturday, this is before I saw the video, mind you, I saw these two Robin Hop books at the sale and they're from the Farseers trilogy. Yeah, from the Farseer trilogy. It's books one and two of the Farseer trilogy. So. It's Assassin's Apprentice and Royal Assassin. So excited. I just have to pick up the third one, which is Assassin's Quest, to complete this trilogy, and then I'll go on from there. Okay, and what else? I've always had an interest in reading Aragon. Didn't know it was YA until I got it, but I said, why not? It's a dragon. I love dragons. I'm a dragon. It's my Chinese sign. And so I picked up Aragon at one of the other series, and then I saw Brissinger. Brissinger? I'm not sure if I'm totally butchering that, but got this bad boy. I believe this is number three in the series. I think there's like five of these, though, and they are like freaking hefty, like over 700 pages. So what is up with me? And like these big, huge chunkers in series that I want to read. Like, what's going on, you guys? I must be losing my mind. All right, I am not gonna lose my shiz because I just filmed the entire haul for you guys and found out that after five minutes it cut off. So let's try this again. Super short and sweet, like pew pew pew. The next books that I got were The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. I was lucky enough to get Girl with the Dragon Tattoo in paperback at another cell that I went to. And you guys know me, I'm OCD, so I just, if I'm loving it, I'm gonna get it in hardcover just so it matches these guys. And I have mentioned before that I've always wanted to read the Vampire Chronicles. And at a previous sale, I did grab a paperback that's not in such good copy of the Vampire Lestat. So I was stoked to see that they had this hard copy. And also a hard copy of The Queen of the Damned. So love Anna Rice. I've only read one thing by her, but am fascinated. Have wanted to read these forever. Cannot wait to start these series. Uh, there's a few more books though that I need to get to complete this. For some one-offs that I got, I fell in love with this movie back in the 90s. Always wondered if it was based on a novel and sure enough, Snow Falling on Cedars. So excited to read this. I cry every time I see the movie so I'm totally prepared to read this with a box of tissues by my side and just ugly cry. And uh, another movie that I thought was pretty good, but I can remember while watching it, I was wondering if the book is better. And there was a lot of hype around the book. Uh, my friend that I was with, she actually read it and I asked her if it was good, if it was worth reading, she recommended it. So I picked up Water for Elephants. Also, while I was perusing through all of the books, for some reason, Pride and Prejudice caught my eye, even though it's like a beat up, written on, ratty copy. I, I've never read it. I have always wanted to. I wish I would have known that it was this small. I would have read this a long time ago. Being the hopeless romantic that I am, I just really have a feeling that I'm gonna friggin' love this. And what made me decide to get it, I passed it by. Then later I came across Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which I've always wanted to read since it came out back in 09. Super excited about this one. Check this out, you guys. Boom! 
She's all badass, like badassery. Check it out. So there's no way I'm gonna read this without reading the OG. So this is gonna be a fun month, this one. I'll probably do this in like February and make it all romantical for the Valentine's Day with zombies. And one little highlight of the sale was that there was so much Stephen King. I've been wanting to get back into him. I liked him when I was younger. There was tons and tons and tons of Stephen King books, like so many things that I hadn't heard of. So I picked up some stuff. I've always wanted to read Misery, love the movie. Didn't know this one was this small. I probably would have read this a long time ago too. Excited. Then I saw this guy, Jim McKee. Have you guys read this? It's friggin' huge. And last, it's so funny, years ago the boyfriend got me Black House because he knew that I'm such a Stephen King fan. Only got that far, put it down, never picked it back up. Didn't even know that it was part of a series or two books a series. Duology, is that right? I don't know. But I was lucky enough to find the talisman at the sale. So I got this because this is actually the prequel for this guy. And if I love it, I'm definitely going to get this one in the cover. Chonkers! Oh, I think it's because I'm trying so hard to get over my fear of reading mic books that just subconsciously that's kind of what I'm gravitating to. Oh, so, wish me luck! Let me know if you guys have read these, what you think. If you guys are planning to read any of these in the new year and you want a buddy read, I would love help getting through these monsters. So that is all for this particular segment of Blackmas Day Number 7. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Can I just share really... Am I in there? I don't even know if I'm in there. Can I share really fast that all those books that I just showed you guys, I got them for 13 bucks. 16 bucks, $13.00. Cannot beat that. Winning! All right, so I am about to prep dinner. I'm like an hour past uh, what I wanted to do, but Bubby's might be late a little bit, so it's all good. Let me show you guys what I'm making. And here is the layout for my prep. So the ground turkey is browning with the onions and the garlic. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and open the cans of veggies. So I have the turkey meat in the crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and add in the veggies. I'm sad because I couldn't add any peppers into this because they or off of the menu until I get the ulcer under control. Okay, I went ahead and put some pepper in because I used that with the grinder and I can't do it with the one hand while I show you guys what's going on. Not really supposed to be having pepper, but come on, like chili without pepper, give me a break. So awesome you guys, I got this crock pot last Christmas from Bob's mom and it's super cool because it has this feature. Let me show you guys. It has a feature where there it comes with two attachments for stirring. This is the one for heartier soups and stews and the food will actually cook for two hours and then every half an hour, it'll stir for five minutes. So super cool, so your food gets evenly cooked throughout. I absolutely love it. So there it is, I'm gonna cook it on low. It's set for four to six hours. So I will do five hours. Gonna turn on the stirs. See you in five, Chili. All right. Checking in for like mid-afternoon. I want to try to get some editing done for my Tuesday Talks video. 
I still haven't read anything today. I've gotten other work and stuff done. So, and I took Zay for a little walk. I still haven't heard from the doctor, you guys. Been waiting, called this morning, supposed to call me back. Still haven't heard anything, so yeah. So, I will check in in a little bit. Besides getting my blog up to date with reviews as well as on Goodreads, I'm so behind. I'd also like to complete this log before the end of the month, and it's this awesome reading log that I found on Book Riot's website. I just added in person of color. I really would love to have this complete before the end of the year because I'm planning on using it next year as well because my main reading goal, aside from tearing into my TBR, is to read more diversely and so this is a great way to track it so do any of you guys use anything to track your reading anything like this anybody else have goals of reading more diversely holla at your girl i think i am going to dive in here soon and i will show you guys what dinner looks like and wrap this bad boy up alrighty okay guys so there it is the final product of my crock pot chili. Got a little cheese topping on there. Got some avocado, some Greek yogurt, and green onions. Normally there would be a crap ton of hot sauce, but you guys know what's going on right now. And I've got some chips for dipping. So there it is, there's dinner. Vlogmas day number seven. I'm about to grow. Alright you guys, see you tomorrow. So, just want to sign out by saying, Happy Vlogmas! Day number